Hi guys, welcome to SCA. I hope everybody's well. Um, this week what we're going to be doing is we're going to kind of follow on what we did with our coaching last week. Um, and my questions are going to be linked in before and obviously after what you've done for your session this week. My three questions are going to be as follows. The first one is, what are your strengths and weaknesses as a coach? Second, what can you do to improve them? And then third, what is your goal in your session? Okay, so you're going to answer maybe the third one first. You're going to see what your goal is for the session. And then after you've given the session, then you're going to be able to answer the other questions a little bit easier. Carlton can take you into a little bit more information on that. And for today's session with me, what I would like you to do is I would like you to create a session. Okay, decide what group you or muscle group or what you're going to be working on. Okay, and then either get a sibling, uh, a brother or sister or one of your parents involved. And I would like you to coach them through the movements. They don't have to do the whole thing, but I would like to see how you explain to them how to do the movements. And if you see something wrong, pointing it out to them. So if you can try and get that on a video, that would be excellent just to see a little bit of your coaching ability. And then when you watch it back, then maybe you'll help you answer your questions of what you think you can improve on. Good luck guys, really looking forward to see your videos. Have a great week. Welcome everyone, my name is Carlton D'Souza and today I'm going to speak to you about everything that makes you the best versions of yourselves. I hope you had a great week so far. I am very curious how your last session went. So just before we go to the part two of it, I want to quickly go through the questions for the week. What are your strengths and weaknesses as a coach? That's question one. Question two, how can you improve them? And question number three, what is your goal for the training session? Well, let me answer question number one and two together. When you plan a session, what are the things you need to keep in mind? So, the objective of any training is to understand the trainee's needs and to plan a session accordingly, to keep health and safety as a priority, to teach the right kind of techniques and make it challenging for the trainee, effective communication of those techniques and workout. If it's too hard for the trainee, trying to make uh, the workout a bit easier. And if it's too easy for the trainee, try and make the workout a bit harder. Also, it would be helpful if you track the progress of your clients and also the progress of your sessions so you can reflect and work on it for the next time. Materials to reach the goal. You need to ask yourself, do I have enough knowledge of the program that I'm going to teach? Did I do enough research? Do I know the proper techniques and adaptations in case someone cannot do a certain exercise? Is there some substitute for that exercise? So that is adaptation. Effective communication. Am I communicating effectively? Am I communicating more clear, clearly to my clients? Are they understanding what I'm trying to say? Are they executing it in a proper manner? I'm also going to quickly give you how a 30 minute program should look like because the minimum that anyone needs to work and benefit out of the workout is 30 minutes. So the first five minutes is more like uh, getting the body warmed up and uh, stretching it in order to get the blood flow. And you can also encourage your trainees to jog, even if it's on the spot, it's all right. The next five minutes would be uh, the body warm up as a ramp. So you know how to raise, uh, activate, mobilize and potentiate. The next five minutes, try and do movements which would be very close to the workout so that, uh, so that the trainee knows what they're going for. This, this, it would be the similar kind of movements that you're gonna to work towards. Then it's gonna be 10 minutes of your main workout where your trainee can perform the exercise to the best of their abilities. And the last five minutes would be a cool down and stretch to get the muscles back to the original form. So that is what I have for you this week. Do your research, learn uh, the proper techniques, learn adaptations. So in case someone cannot do a certain kind of exercise due to limitations, try and find another form for it and communicate effectively. Remember warm up and cool downs are very essential. So enjoy 
your session and do let us know how it went. I will see you next week. Stay strong and stay healthy. Cheers.